is Lena and welcome back to my channel. Today it's time for my October book haul. I would like to say that I don't have that much books to show you comparing to the last month, but I have this pile, so let's just get through it. The first two are by the same author and it's Laura Vinogradova. This one is her newest one and it's called Upe, the river. And all I know, I think it's about a grieving woman who kind of runs off to the countryside and writes letters to her sister, I think, but I'm not, I'm not sure. We'll see when I read it. And the other one is the one that was published like as a project to gather funds for this place, this old like manor. And I have read this one. I read my mom's edition and I wanted my own. And what's the best part? I got both books signed too. I have them signed. So those are the first two. In October I had my birthday and for the first time ever someone sent me a gift from my wishlist, Amazon wishlist, and it was all the Wandering Light by Heather Fawcett. This is the sequel to Even the Darkest Stars that I had, that I read. I think I read it earlier this year and this one was sent to me by Sasha from The Wild Sasha and link her channel in the description box. So yeah, thank you Sasha. It was so nice. <laughs> and yeah, it was so nice to get something from my wishlist. And it arrived exactly on my birthday. That was a nice coincidence. The next one is not really a book, but it's in a book format. And it's the Nocturnal Journal, A Late Night Exploration of What's Really on Your Mind by Lee Crutchley. This was a gift from my sister and I have like flipped through this one, but I haven't really read what it requires of me, but I need to sit down and see what I can do and randomly like fill in the things it asks me to. But yeah, I found these journals really interesting, but because if they give you prompts, kind of what to do. So yeah. Then I got I Let You Go by Claire McIntosh. This was really cheap. I saw it and I bought it for myself for my birthday. So yeah, all in all, I think it's a thriller, kind of domestic thriller, maybe. I don't really know, but yeah, it was cheap. I wanted it and I got it. The next one I got was The Great Gatsby by Francis Scott Fitzgerald. I've been wanting to read this one for quite some time and I would like to read it by the end of the year and when I saw that I can get this copy I just did it <laughs> and usually I don't like movie covers but I enjoy this one mostly because it has Leonardo DiCaprio he's kind of my childhood crush so yeah I like this cover and the last books I'm gonna share are the book box books and the first one is Fable by Adrian Young. This was in September's Fairy Little Box. It has an exclusive cover and shimmery spread edges. So yeah, I think it has something to do with mermaids, water. It looks like it, like she's underwater. But yeah, we'll see when I read it what it's actually about. And then in September's Illumicrate box were A Deadly Education by Naomi Novik. This one is like a magic school book. It's the first one in the series. And I think the school is Scholomans. And it's like there are no teachers or something like that. And it's a really dangerous place. But that's kind of all I know. And the last book I'm going to share is The Lives of Saints by Lee Bardugo. Illustrated by, let's see... Danielle J. Zollinger, and this one is in the Grishaverse. It's like all the saints from like the first 
trilogy was Shadow and Bone. I really enjoyed those books and I still need to read Six of Crows and King of Scars, but I just couldn't resist and I ordered myself this copy. It like has re this really beautiful cover and underneath it, it's really beautiful too. I love it and it, it is beautiful inside. There's illustrations and all like these borders around the text too. So yeah, it's a really beautiful book. Here are all the books I got in October together. They are beautiful. But yeah, this is gonna be it for the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I see you in the next one. Bye.